Yovelim, Jubilees, 1. And it came to pass in the first year of the exodus of the children of Yahshara'el out of Mitzrayim in the third month, on the sixteenth day of the month, that Elohim spoke to Moshe, saying, Come up to me on the mount, and I will give you two sapphire stones of the Torah and of the commandment, which I have written, that you may teach them. And Moshe went up into the mount of Elohim, and the glory of Yahuwah abode on Mount Sinai, and a cloud overshadowed it six days. And he called to Moshe on the seventh day, out of the midst of the cloud, and the appearance of the glory of Yahuwah was like a flaming fire on the top of the mount. And Moshe was on the mount forty days and forty nights, and Elohim taught him the earlier and the later history of the division of all the days of the Torah and of the testimony. And he said, Incline your heart to every word which I shall speak to you on this mount, and write them in a sefer, in order, that their generations may see how I have not forsaken them, for all the evil which they have wrought in transgressing the covenant which I establish between me and you for their generations this day on Mount Sinai. And thus it will come to pass, when all these things come upon them, that they will recognize that I am more righteous than they, in all their judgments and in all their actions, and they will recognize that I have been truly with them. And do write, rather, and do you write for yourself all these words which I declare unto you this day. For I know their rebellion and their stiff neck. Before I bring them into the land of which I swore to their fathers, to Avraham and to Yitzhak and to Yaakov, saying, Unto your seed will I give a land flowing with milk and honey. And they will eat and be satisfied, and they will turn to strange Elohim, to Elohim which cannot deliver them from aught of their tribulation. And this witness shall be heard for a witness against them, for they will forget all my commandments, even all that I command them, and they will walk after other nations and after their uncleanness and after their shame and will serve their Elohim. And these will prove unto them an offense and a tribulation and an affliction and a snare. And many will perish and they will be taken captive and will fall into the hands of the enemy because they have forsaken my ordinances and my commandments and the feasts of my covenant and my Shabbatot and my holy place, which I have sanctified for myself in their midst and my tabernacle and my sanctuary, which I have sanctified for myself in the midst of the land that I should set my name upon it, and that it should dwell there. And they will make to themselves high places and Asherah poles and graven images, and they will worship each his own graven image so as to go astray, and they will sacrifice their children to devils and to all the works of the error of their hearts. And I will send witnesses unto them, that I may witness against them. But they will not hear, and will slay the witnesses also. And they will persecute those who seek the Torah. And they will abrogate and change everything, so as to work evil before my eyes. And I will hide my face from them, and I will deliver them into the hand of the other nations for captivity and for a prey, 
and for devouring, and I will remove them from the midst of the land, and I will scatter them amongst the other nations, and they will forget all my Torah and all my commandments and all my judgments, and will go astray as to new moons and Shabbatot and feasts and jubilees and ordinances. And after this, they will turn to me from amongst the other nations with all their heart and with all their soul and with all their strength. And I will gather them from amongst all the other nations and they will seek me so that I shall be found of them when they seek me with all their heart and with all their soul. And I will disclose to them abounding peace with righteousness. And I will remove them the plant of uprightness with all my heart and with all my soul. And they shall be for a blessing and not for a curse. And they shall be the head and not the tail. And I will build my sanctuary in their midst. And I will tabernacle with them. And I will be their Elohim. And they shall be my people in truth and righteousness. And I will not forsake them, nor fail them. For I am Yahuwah Eloheim. And Moshe fell on his face and prayed and said, O Yahuwah Elohai, do not forsake your people and your inheritance so that they should wander in the error of their hearts and do not deliver them into the hands of their enemies, the other nations, lest they should rule over them and cause them to sin against you. Let your mercy, O Yahuwah, be lifted up upon your people and create in them an upright Ruach, and let not the Ruach of Bele'a'al rule over them to accuse them before you and to ensnare them from all the cycles of righteousness so that they may perish from before your face. But they are your people and your inheritance, which you have delivered with your great power from the hands of the Mitzrayim. Create in them a clean heart and a Ruach HaKodesh, and let them not be ensnared in their sins from henceforth until eternity. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, I know their contrariness and their thoughts and their stiff nakedness, and they will not be obedient till they confess their own sin and the sin of their fathers. And after this, they will turn to me in all uprightness and with all their heart and with all their soul. And I will circumcise the foreskin of their heart and the foreskin of the heart of their seed. And I will create in them a Ruach HaKodesh. And I will cleanse them so that they shall not turn away from me from that day unto eternity. And their souls will cleave to me and to all my commandments, and they will fulfill my commandments. And I will be their father, and they shall be my children. And they all shall be called children of the living Elohim. And every angel and every ruach shall know, yea, they shall know that these are my children and that I am their father in uprightness and righteousness and that I love them. And do you write down for yourself all these words which I declare unto you on this mountain, the first and the last, which shall come to pass in all the divisions of the days in the Torah and in the testimony and in the weeks and the jubilees unto eternity until I descend and tabernacle with them 
throughout eternity. And he said to the angel of the presence, Write for Moshe from the beginning of creation till my sanctuary has been built among them for all eternity. And Yahuwah will appear to the eyes of all, and all shall know that I am the Elohim of Yashara'el, and the father of all the children of Yaakov, and king on Mount Sion for all eternity. And Sion and Yerushalayim shall be holy. And the angel of the presence who went before the camp of Yashara'el took the tables of the divisions of the years from the time of the creation of the Torah and of the testimony of the weeks, of the jubilees, according to the individual years, according to all the number of the jubilees, according to the individual years, from the day of the new creation, when the heavens and the earth shall be renewed, and all their creation, according to the powers of the heaven, and according to all the creation of the earth, until the sanctuary of Yahuwah shall be made in Yerushalayim on Mount Sion, and all the luminaries be renewed for healing and for peace and for blessing for all the elect of Yashara'el, and that thus it may be from that day and unto all the days of the earth.